Well, Luke, congratulations on your engagement. Thank you, thank you. You've been in some pressure situations. <laughs> Did that prepare you for the two minutes before you engage? No, I, I think that's the most nervous I've ever been. So I'm just happy she said yes, and I'm excited to do life with her. When did that happen? Uh, Sunday night. How, how did you do it? Did you special, like a surprise for her at all? Uh, we'll keep that private, but it's pretty special. Yeah. <laughs> What's it mean to you and this and this future of this program now that, that they know that Coach Leach is, is here for a good four or five years now? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, just the stability and, uh, you know, what he brings to the program and, you know, what we've been able to do. We just want to – uh, cap the season off with a with a great win, and you know, to uh, the seniors go out on a good note, and then uh, Coach Leach and uh, his staff will do a great job in years to come. You mentioned the staff. I mean, how nice is it to see? You know, they're getting kind of a bump out of the whole thing too. Yeah, I mean, uh, those guys deserve it. Um, I mean, he, he's he's built a great staff around him, and uh, you know, and a good culture. They hit you yet? You're getting ready for your last go around. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, this will probably be the last, uh, you know, interview here in, in Pullman and, uh, you know, only got two more here and, and uh, so it's, you know, it's kind of surreal right now. You happy it's your last interview? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Yeah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fingers crossed. You guys start to transition back into game mode. What's that like going from camp mode back to game mode again? Um, you know, it's good. You just lock in. It's just a different type of practice where you're not going against the ones all the time. And, uh, you know, it's still competitive. It's still, we're getting a lot of great work. Our scout team's doing a good job. And, uh, you know, I thought we had a pretty good day today. So it's been like kind of adjusting to some new, not, not new receiving targets, but not having the, the, kind of the two more reliable guys that you had all year out, out there with you. Yeah, I mean, uh, these these guys are doing a great job stepping up right now. We're kind of playing a little shuffle game at the receiver position, but I think the coaches are doing a real good job of coaching them up, and, and the, they're responding right now. Does Jameer kind of seem like a natural fit on, on, on the outside? I know he's been kind of working in, inside, outside, but he had been doing outside in, in fall camp, and he's kind of in, in the mix now. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think he's handling the situation very well right now. I mean, um, you know, he's playing well. He's, he's getting the plays down out there. It's a little different, uh, you know, not a, not as many responsibilities in terms of hot and things like that, but he, he fits it well. He's a fast guy, and, uh, you know, he's learned from a good one in Tay right now. How tough was it to handle that situation, just two of your top guys leaving in, in a short time before the game? I mean, it's, it's whatever. We play with uh, whoever's out there. I mean, uh, if, if guys want to be on, out there on the field right now, I mean, we want to play with the guys that want to be here and be a Washington State Cougar. I mean, if you don't, then... Uh, I guess that's our loss right now, but uh, we'll just play with the guys that we got, and we're excited about it. Have you spoke with those two at all since since they left? No. Uh, how have you seen Renard step up? Because obviously he got a lot of experience this year. Um, guys like him and Calvin. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think those young guys, especially the slot guys, have just had a tremendous upside. I mean, they they've really grown out throughout the season. And another guy is Tay Tay Martin. I mean, he's going to be a real special player. And so I just think that we got some really good young talent right now, and they're starting to mature. When did you see Tay make his jump? Because it seems like you know the second half of the season. I mean, how long does it take for a, a freshman to really like get ingrained with the <coughs> offense? Yeah, I mean, I think it takes a little bit. I mean, you're going in a completely different system that he had in high school, and he comes here, and we saw the natural talent. And I think uh, really when Tavares was suspended and he had that Colorado game, I think, uh, you know, he really realized that this could be his show. And, uh, you know, he's just ever since then, I think he's played really well. And, and the last time we talked to you, you hadn't spent too much time watching Michigan State on film. But since then, what have you seen from them? And then what are you guys going to have to do to crack that defense? Yeah, I mean, uh, they're a good defense. There's a reason why they're they're ranked really high right now. I mean, they're they're big up front. They uh, they they play sound defense, and uh, you know we got our hands full. But uh, you know we just got to go out there and, and play uh, with good tempo and play with good energy and just uh, execute our uh, you know our doing our job. Tay's a former basketball player, you as well. You, you guys ever mix it up on the hard? <laughs> not yet. No, not yet. Uh, I don't want to beat him too bad right now. Got to keep his confidence. <laughs> I know you're focused on the game, but what do you really want for Christmas? What do I really want for Christmas is a Holiday Bowl win. <laughs>